Hello guys and welcome to the most requested video in this season as you all know there has been some new weapon additions to battle royale like the peacekeeper and also few other guns were removed from the ground and replaced by other guns like the type 25 and the m4 as always i have to mention this for all the new viewers first of all this list represents my personal opinion after testing most of the weapons you may agree and you may disagree maybe there are weapons better than the ones i mentioned but anyways watch the video and try the weapons on my list then you can decide for yourself the ranking list on this video is only for the guns that you can loot from the ground and the purpose of it is to help you decide which gun is worth picking up to fight in early to mid game until you manage to loot your best loadout gun from the airdrop finally the damage test done in this video is against enemies with level 3 vest and 150 hp at 10 meters range except for the shotguns as i tested them at 7 meters range because that's the optimal range for them and it's done by spraying the enemy because this way it's more realistic as we take into account the bullet spread of the weapon so keep all of that in mind and let's get started with the number 10 gun And number 10 we have the Fennec. After the chaos that was caused by this gun on multiplayer mode last season, with the addition of the Akimbo perk, this gun received many nerfs that targeted the accuracy, the mobility and the reload speed of the gun. But the thing is most of these nerfs affects the Fennec only when you equip Akimbo perk to it. As for the one you pick from the ground, it's still pretty much the same as last season, which means it has more attachments that will help you increase its accuracy. I truly believe that this gun is one of the best close range guns right now. Now, but the reason why not many players use it because of the mag size even with the blue version fennec it still has 25 bullets which is pretty low especially if you have bad aim this gun can kill enemies within this time which is spoiler alert the fastest killing time among all other guns in today's list i highly recommend using this gun but only if you manage to find an extend mods to increase the mag size In number 9 we have the Rust 79U, one of the most underrated guns in battle royale. Even I thought it was trash. The thing about this gun is that the stats doesn't show its true power. You have to try it by yourself and you realize that it's a solid choice in close range. With good hip fire accuracy and overall gun stability, the Rust can kill an enemy within this time. Which is of course not even close to the Fennec, but in return you get a bigger and better stability and higher damage at longer ranges, especially that they added a purple version of this gun. In number 8 we have the type 25 which was gone for a few seasons but now it's back and I'm glad Activision finally decided to bring it back as a normal ground loot weapon because it adds some good variety to the game as it used to be one of the best close to mid range weapons in the game. However one thing you need to know is that they increased the killing time of this gun somewhere around season 9 as it used to be the fastest killing assault rifle in the game. But these days this gun kills within this time which is close to other assault rifles that you will see later on this video. But if you really love this gun then make a gunsmith build for it as it has some special attachments that increases the overall damage and therefore the killing time. You can try my build that I've been using in the end of season 12 which will allow you to kill enemies much faster. But again it's a really solid close range weapon and right now there's only a purple version of it and that's good and bad. Good because it will have many attachments equipped to it and bad because it's going to be a bit harder to find. In number 7 we have the M4 LMG. This gun shines mostly in Alcatraz map. Sadly this season they removed the blue version of it and replaced it with a white version which doesn't have any attachments at all. But even with this change I officially consider this gun the most underrated gun in the game. At close range the M4 LMG kills within this time which is faster than all assault rifles and even faster than most SMGs which is crazy since it's an LMG. And on top of that they actually made a secret buff to this gun and reduced the reload time which makes makes it even better combined with the high capacity mag. But the reason why I didn't rank it higher, first of all as I mentioned, there is only a wide version of it. But most importantly because it has slow mobility and slow ADS which are both important at close range. If you're gonna use this weapon then I suggest you use it without a scope to make the ADS a bit faster and if the enemy is around 10 meters range or less then use it with hip fire.
In number 6 we have the M4. This gun used to be the best weapon for many players before season 8. However they removed it from the map and made it available only at airdrops. But just like the Type 25 Activision added this gun as a normal ground loot weapon this season. Which again I'm happy to see as it adds more variety to the game instead of watching everyone spam the AK-47. Now the good news is that they added the golden version of it. But the bad news is that it's the only version available which makes it extremely hard to find. But if you manage to find it then I highly suggest using it for mid to long range because it's considered the easiest assault rifle to control and you can pretty much laser enemies with it. The M4 kills within this time which is a bit slow but it makes sense as it makes up for it with the low recoil and high accuracy. I just hope they add more versions of it in the future. In number 5 we have the BY-15 making a comeback as a normal ground loot weapon. It used to be one of the most used guns at close range especially in Garena server where everyone was spamming it combined with the slide and jump movement. Again this gun was removed few seasons ago but they brought it back this season and I believe they buffed the fire rate. At close range the BY-15 can kill an enemy with level 3 vest and 150 HP with 2 shots only. And you can one shot most enemies with level 2 vest or lower when you're hugging them. I highly recommend using this gun if you know how to use it because it needs some good timing and accuracy as you can't afford to miss your shots otherwise you will end up dead. In number 4 we have the exotic arctic. This gun got a nerf this season and it became a bit harder to control but it can still one shot enemies with level 3 vest and 150 hp if you aim to the head. The reason for this nerf is because many players started spamming it in season 12. But anyway if you're a good sniper then it shouldn't be affected by this nerf and I still consider it one of the best weapons in the game. The best part is that even though it's a golden weapon it's not as rare as you may think and you can find it both as a normal ground loot weapon and also an airdrops. We arrive to the top 3 weapons starting with the AK-117. I don't believe they made any changes to this gun and it still remains the same as last season. As always I recommend using it at close range because of the high fire rate and high hip fire accuracy. It can also be good at mid range as it's also considered easy to control. However I don't recommend using it at longer range because it starts losing damage and also becomes harder to control. The AK-117 kills within this time which is pretty good considering it has one of the best hip fire accuracies in the game. Again, we have some good news and bad news for the AK-117 lovers. First of all they made it harder to find but the good news is they added a purple version of it and you can also find a golden version in airdrops. In number 2 we have one of the most toxic weapons in the game. I already mentioned why this gun is strong in my last video, the big crosshairs, the auto fire spam and the high damage. In other words this gun requires no skill to use which makes it one of the best close range weapons in the game. At 7 meters range the echo kills within this time. But don't take this for granted because it's hard to get an accurate killing time with this gun. Mainly because it has a random bullet spread accuracy. But if you face your enemy within 5 meters range then you will manage to kill them with 3 to 4 shots easily. If you if you have good shotgun aim then I suggest using the BY-15 as it kills faster. But if you miss your shots then you should use the echo. Simple as that. In number 1 we have the AK-47, I mean we all saw it coming, this gun is like Bayern Munich winning the Bundesliga for the past 8 seasons. It has no competitors at all and it's by far the most used gun in the game due to the fact that it maintains a high damage at all ranges, plus the fact that it's easy to control. Also with the recent hipfire buff you will notice that the AK-47 has an insane hipfire accuracy. I know they nerfed it a bit but as I mentioned in the last video you won't even notice it. And on top of that they added a wide version of it which makes it one of the easiest guns to find. This gun is too strong to the point where the white version of it is better than most golden weapon. And if you manage to get your hands on the gunsmith gun you built then it's pretty much game over for your enemy as you will have almost zero recoil with the right builds. I hope you guys find this useful and I hope it helped you decide which guns to take from now on. And if you do find it useful then share it with everyone, your friends, your clan, your pets. Also a like would be highly appreciated. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next videos. Peace.